Hi, my name is Shadow. Um, I just wanted to make a video about myself, um, what my path is, how long I've been practicing, how I got into it, and I also want to do a story about me coming out of the room closet. Um, and I'm going to start out with what my path is. Um, right now, I practice something called fairy tradition. It's spelled F-E-R-I. It works mostly with a goddess named the Star Goddess. We do have other deities, such as we have the Divine Twins, which are the two consorts of the goddess, and they can be any gender as long as they are either. They can be brother and sister, sister and sister, brother and brother, two wives, two husbands, husband and wife, and they, they even can be enemies in the, any of those sets of any gender. But they do come together and form into something that we call the Peacock God or the Blue God. And this is the consort of the Star Goddess. But the Star Goddess is our main deity. And the specific thing that sets fairy apart from every other tradition is that we work with one specific type of energy. And the energy that we work with can't be worked with by any of the path because of the way that we are initiated. And I had to do a self-initiation that was approved by one of my other friends who practices fairy because of the fact that there isn't a coven in my area. And it's only something that's just been accepted in my path. So. That is basically what my path is. I started whenever I was 13 and I started out with Wicca. And that was basically my safe haven for me until I found my path. I started because I had some disagreements with Christianity. And I was an atheist for an atheist for a long time, but deep down I knew there was something more out there. And um, so I started dabbling, which I know isn't something that's really brightly looked upon, but it was kind of something I had to do, and I figured out it was for me. Um, as I got older, I realized you know I couldn't keep the secret forever, you know. So I, the first person that I told was my best friend, and. I told her and basically she cried. She cried because um, I met her because she invited me to church. And it was a big deal for her. But after a few days she got comfortable with it. And she even opened up and told me some of the stories that she had about some pagan gods that had come in through her life. And I didn't tell her that that's because paganism is right, you know, I did try to explain that some of the pagan gods are also saints and vice versa. But um she ended up accepting me for it, and that was a positive experience for me. And I went on to tell my parents whenever I was 16, and that was not so much of a positive experience. Um, they did put me in different places, and I even ended up in a children's home for about six months. And I recently went back with, with them, and things still didn't go so well, so I ended up moving out and getting emancipated. And after I moved out, I actually met people like Rowan and other pagans who were very accepting and we even started a coven together. Um, what I like most about my path is that it allows me to be my own person and that it doesn't have a humongous set of rules. We do have certain things that we do in our rituals and in our tradition but it's nothing that sets us back in everyday life such as you can't do this or that. Um, like, you know, you can't eat an extra cookie or you're going to burn in hell forever. Um, that's basically my story. Um, I did have a familiar, but I had to give him away because of my inability to take care of him. Um, and yes, that was a stutter. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're going to get that a lot from me. I'm air. I'm Gemini. I'll stutter. Um, yeah, my elements are air and water, so I tend, my brain tends to move way too quick, quickly for my mouth. Ain't that the truth. <laughs> and that's Rowan in the background filming this <laughs> as we speak. Um, that's, like I said, that's basically my story. Um, you know, it's pretty short actually. It's, not as exciting as some other people's. <laughs>
But, um, you know, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. And I will get back to you. And please, 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 if you see this video, subscribe. If you like it. I'm not making you, but I might be making you. He's not making you. He's just being Thomas. Yeah. The funny one. The shadow. But, um, alright, I guess this is my cue to go. See you later. Namaste and blessed be.